I'm a colorectal surgeon, so what that really means is I see patients with colorectal pathology, and there's a spectrum from kind of benign, very chronic problems uh, to malignant, uh, very acute problems. The surgeries that I do sometimes are less than an hour, patients go home the same day, and it's for a problem that maybe they've been dealing with for many years, but goes away and is, is kind of cured within that procedure. Other patients need operations that are six or eight or 10 hours long, and those are life-changing operations. The robot is really a, a, a kind of the next step in advancement of minimally invasive surgery. It's really allowed us to do a lot of things that we either really hard laparoscopically or we couldn't do laparoscopically. As the surgeon performing the procedure, you're sitting actually not next to the patient, you're sitting kind of in the corner of the room using the console to move the instruments. The precision you can get, like, I can use three arms to operate. I only have two arms, you know, <laughs> so like when I'm using, doing robotic surgery, there's a third arm that I can move back and forth. So I can actually, and I'm controlling the camera, so I'm actually operating with four arms instead of two. I think we're really at the forefront in the country, at least in terms of robotic colorectal surgery. We're, I think we really stand out from that standpoint. My average day is, is not average, and that's kind of one of the things I like about what I do, is I, I think I'd be bored if I did the same thing day in, day out. I start my clinics about 15 or 20 minutes later than I used to, and the whole purpose is I can drop my kids off at school and then still be in a clinic on time. It's probably less than 10 minute walk from the school to the hospital, so that, that's really nice. My commute is like, I think someone timed it three minutes uh, to one hospital and like 10 minutes to the other. I didn't know much about SEMO, and I don't think I knew what the acronym stood, stood for for many years, but uh, <laughs> it became obvious once I started that there was good access to research funding. SEMO has a number of grants that I was able to get within the first couple of years of my um, uh, career here, which has really allowed me to support a research program, and I think it's the type of funding that you don't really get elsewhere. My role is defined, I think, as 70% clinical and 30% research, so they value that. They, they want me to be spending 30% of my time on research and academics, and um, that's what they're funding, that's what they're paying for. So they, they see value in that. And, you know, getting your first uh, research grant really allows you to be successful here for your next one and your next one. I think it's um, something that really gave me a leg up over a lot of my other colleagues.